everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Planning with Donna. Um, today I have Plan Miss Day 21 and I am featuring Kella the Plan Seasonal Florals and let's get started. This one I felt like she has some winter stuff in her plan um, in this sticker book and I just felt like this still to me was wintery. So I'm using a bronze or brown, very mini thin washi, a coppery color. Um, these all came from either Joann's or Hobby Lobby. This one came from Joann's. I think this is a Park Lane. And this is also a park lane. And it's like a really weird color green with some little gold dots on it. So those are the washies that I used. So let's get started. And I was, I'm trying to just make the page look bold and stand out. Sometimes I feel like our spreads are a bit I don't know, for the lack of a better word, um, they get lost in transit, if that makes sense. I mean, that's, sometimes I feel like, are you kidding me? This has been a day for ripping up stuff. And that was a big old piece too. Okay, and I don't have much of that left. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it down and we're just gonna, Fix it. And I love this washi. I just think it is so timeless, we'll say. Now, if I can get this one here to match up, it's gonna be one heck of a good day. It's a little bit off. I think it's close enough that you're not gonna really be able to tell it unless you're standing right over top of that spot. And a piece of washi did not get, and I just ripped another one, and a piece of washi did not get wasted. So, I just really like how this frames this top of this, uh, this is my classic vertical. I love how it just frames it. I think it looks really pretty. Now I'm gonna bring this piece over here and see if we can match it up. I guess I pulled it off of there way too fast. There we go. Good enough for me. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, don't set yourself up for failure um, trying to be perfect because, you know, Nothing's perfect, and sometimes imperfection is the most beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to make a little cut down through here, and we're going to pull that up, and that up. Come on, and that up. All right, so we've got our top started. I think it looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go over here and trim up this side. And sometimes I tend to press too hard and, you know, pretty much cut my page, but that's okay. I can always put some scotch tape on the back of it if I have to. So this is our beginning. And let's go ahead and do our bottom. And on the washi, I'm trying to be a little more gentle here. I'm doing the opposite inversion here on the bottom. Which is, you know, the same and then the brown will be down here. Okay, and I think I'm going to go ahead Put that there. Go ahead and pull that up. 
I don't want to press too hard and then I don't press hard enough and it won't cut. So there's that one. And then we're going to use this green. I felt like it really, really made this spread pop as far as bringing those greens in this to the forefront. I just feel like it was amazing. Once I laid this green down, I was like, whoa. It just brought it to a whole nother level. Remember, don't get too crazy and tight on that washi or you'll have curly pages. Just saying. I'm gonna pull that up. You'll see it once I put those flowers down. It, it's amazing, the difference. All right, so we've got that. Now we've got one more piece of washi to put down. What do you know? It's amazing when you take your time, you don't tear the washi in half. And as usual, let's move this one for a sec. And we're gonna put down our bronze. I've got a piece of something on here, a little string or something. And we're gonna put that down, right? See how that pulls the page up? That's how you know it's too tight. Just let it lay on there and then gently just run across. There you go. Now, hope you guys are ready for Christmas. I'm telling you, these, it's ridiculous. This, what is so crazy is that with this whole, you know, the way the world is momentarily, what is nuts is that you'll go into a store, like I was trying to find a long sleeve nightgown for my mom. You can't even find a long sleeve nightgown. Like it's that insane around here. Everything is sold out. I mean, and and the, the pickings were slim to begin with. Like stuff is just not in stock. So anyway, I managed to find one in Walmart, a place I really hate shopping. But, you know, what do you do? She needs a long sleeve nightgown and nobody else in town has them. <laughs> so it's either buy it from Walmart or forget it. But you know, I did the pickup. Yeah, one item, but I still did the pickup. I thought, no, 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 this time of day going to Walmart, mm -mm. No, I, di I didn't feel like, no. I absolutely detest shopping. Uh, I mean, I don't mind if like, we're getting ready to get, we're gonna go to Ikea, um, me and my friend Beck, and I'm excited about that. This is a place I will probably absolutely fall in love with, and that's okay, but just everyday shopping, no. Nope, nope, nope. And I wish I had a million dollars to go down there and spend, but I know that I don't. But I'm gonna get some organizational items. Just, that's pretty much all I need. Thinking about getting that, um, what's it called? The pegboard system. And I also wanna look at the packs uh, closet system for my granddaughter. She's wanting to update her closet to be more functional. She's been hanging around me too long because when I go to there, I'm constantly on her about the state of her room. I'm like, seriously? So I feel like if she... Her closets, you know, the house was built in 1956. They have walk-in closets that are huge, which is something you pretty much didn't have back in that day. So, you know, they're one step ahead of the crowd. But it's basically a rod and a shelf. So you have these huge closets with no storage units, no, you know how it goes. And I just feel like if she had, you know, something in that closet that was more functional that it would look 
and it would be so much more manageable, just saying. All right, so now we're gonna put down this quote that says, winter is a season of recovery and preparation. So that is going right there. That's why I wanna mark those lines out. I just thought it looked super ugly um, with those black lines running through it. I'm gonna put this right here, and I know you're probably thinking, oh my goodness, it's going right over the holes. Yep, sure is, but that's okay. It'll look good once it gets punched. You know, that's all right. So now we're gonna come up here and really jazz it up. Do not, do not tear. Don't you dare. <laughs> you know you went too far when you're talking to stickers. Just saying. That was getting ready to be really bad. All right. This is going to go, and I'm gonna have to stand up so I can see what I'm doing. Cause I want to get it down here. There we go. I just think that's so pretty. Those colors just poom. All right, now we're gonna go here. Yep, we're gonna put down this little A few little things here. And then I'm gonna put this. There. Now we're gonna work on this page over here. This box is gonna be here, about mid. Really trying to get my boxes on here straight just because it makes me crazy sometimes. And sometimes I could care less. <laughs> Basically depends on the mood I'm in. Y'all know how I roll. It's, you know. And there's that one. And let me get this one that I almost killed. And we're gonna put it right. And I'm probably gonna have to get my, where are you? There you are. My little glue pen. To get that to lay down where I ripped it. Then we're going to go down through here. Let me, wait, well, let me do this first. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put it down real hard because I just don't want it to get too crazy. Put that there. Make sure all this stuff's going to line up because you know how that goes. Sometimes I go to put stuff down and I'm like, what did I do? This is going to be offset a little bit. Yep, that ran into that, but that's okay. Now, now we can mash it down. Then, over here, let me fold this in too. I've been going to throw wax paper like crazy. I've got planner spreads everywhere. I'm going to put this, go ahead and put this down. I tried to keep it relatively balanced just because I've really been trying to notice when I'm planning if I've got balance everywhere. I just, I think that that's really important because I'll go back and I'll look at a video and I'm like, ugh, 
that was off over here or that was off over here and I'm trying to keep it the fullness equal we'll say if that makes sense then I'm going to put up a little higher I'm going to put that right there and I'm going to put one right I want just a little fraction of a space between them yes I love it and I could even put one here but I think it's too close you know those are too, they're too I just want to leave this white space because I might have to walk you know write something else in there so now we're going to pull up our washi And we're gonna flip this over. And I'm going to use my little Marriott card, if I can see. I swear, sometimes I feel like I can see really good, and sometimes I feel like I'm going blind. <laughs> I mean, for real, I'm not even joking. Like last night, I was like, and I think it's where I'm, doing stuff like this and I just can't I'm straining my eyes I think basically is what it boils down to right there and right there okay now we're going to go up here And we're gonna do the same thing. Good, Donna. Cut your credit, well, it's not a credit card. Cut your hotel card in two. There we go. So now, let's get out the, I know, I'm making all kinds of disturbing noise. <laughs> and we're gonna line up our crocodile highly recommend. They're a little pricey. I'm sure you guys already know that. But I didn't get one of these for a really long time. Like, I've only had this like six months. So, I think they're about $35. <clears throat> so, you know, a little bit of a planner investment. But you know what? It's just so quick and so easy to trim up your, I haven't had breakfast yet and I got the shakes. All right. To trim up your planner. And sometimes it'll leave that little, there we go. So there's page one all trimmed up and I'm gonna do this one real quick. And we'll start here. I've got a little piece of, there we go. All right. There's been all kinds of plan misses out there. I've been watching, um, I like her, cause she's chunky. Of course she just had gastric bypass, so she ain't gonna be chunky forever. Um, Alexandra Rodriguez used to be um, um, something fearless. I can't remember. Anyway, I, I love watching her playing Mrs. because they are so Christmassy. She's just all about Christmas, and I just think it gives me inspiration <laughs> for the lack of a better. And I, I enjoy watching these premises and all these cooking appetizer videos. They are calling my name. I'll sit there and watch them appetizer videos and I'm in the kitchen next thing I know. And I'm fixing me something to eat. Do you all get hungry when you watch videos like that? I get so hungry. So, sort of like going to the grocery store when you're starving. That is never a good idea because you will spend so much more money. Alrighty, 
Let's get her all straightened up. And I think it turned out pretty cute. This is for the week of January the 17th through the 23rd. Again, I use stickers out of the Seasonal Floral Sticker Book by Kella the Plan. And there you have it. I'm on a mission to use up my old stickers. I welcome you all to join me to do the same. Um, and I hope that you liked the video. If you did, I hope that you'll consider giving me a big thumbs up, subscribing to my channel, hit that notification bell, and I hope you guys have a blessed rest of your day. So, this is Plan Miss Day 21. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.